how do we distribute base shear over each level of a multi-story building? So here we have our base shear, it's 680 kips. For multi-story buildings, the seismic base shear represents the sum of inertial forces acting at various levels of the building. To distribute the base shear over the height of the entire building across each level, we'll use the following equation. Basically, for each level, we'll multiply the base shear by a certain coefficient that we'll find. This is the equation for CVX, but we'll make a table that'll make this a lot easier to understand. We are also given the weight of each floor of the building. Here's how we'll set up the table to find CVX. First, we'll set up the rows 1, 2, and 3 for each level of the building. For the columns, we have the weight of each level, the height of each level from the ground, height raised to the power of k, which I'll show you how to find in just a bit, weight times height raised to the power of k, CVX, and F of x. F of x is the seismic lateral force at each level. The weight of the first level is 1200 kips, the second level is also 1200 kips, and the third level is 1000 kips. The height of each level from the ground is 13, 26, and 39, because each level is 13 feet high. Now let's find k. k is really easy to find, we just have to use the following set of rules. In this case, t is 0 0.4, so k will equal 1, because t is less than 0 0.5. This will make h raised to the power of k the exact same as h. The next column is fairly straightforward. We just multiply the weight times h raised to the power of k, and we get the following numbers. Next, we find the sum of wh to the k for each level. We just add up each level and get 85800. Now we could easily find cvx, which is wh to the k for each level divided by the sum of wh to the k and we get the following values for CVX for each level. They should add up to one. So now we could find the vertical distribution of the base shear for each level. We multiply CVX for each level times the total base shear. Now we found the lateral force at each level and it should total up to the total seismic base shear. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped you find the vertical distribution of base shear for each level of a multi-story building.